four-color uh, four color control. Blue, oh, wow. white, red, green. So uh, basically four-color good cards. Yeah. Two copies of Thrag Tusk, four Huntmaster that fell, three Augur Ebola. So pretty interesting deck here. I mean, he has uh, two copies of Assemble the Legion, two copies of Snakes Revelation, two Celestial Sharp, two S Scatter, and two Plasm Capture, which we we should talk about earlier, which can't really do anything too abusive. He has Sphinx of Revelation, which you can cast off, as well as just casting Thragtus with mana up, but uh, basically just a four color deck with a lot of good cards in it. Um, and he's playing against Eric Zimmerman on the right, who's being a typical Bantex proof deck that we've been seeing a lot of in the feature match area this, uh, this round. One of the things that Travis is unfortunate enough to have done in this game, double mulligan. So he's starting oh, wow. out way down in cards. An invisible stalker on a rancor comes to, uh, with a rancor. So I'm surprised Travis didn't tr try to just essence scatter because you can see he has an essence scatter in his hand. I'm surprised he didn't just essence scatter the uh, the invisible stalker. He doesn't really have a good answer to it in his deck. He has uh, this is game three, so he's actually a cyborg. He has one copy of Ray of Revelation, um, one Pillar of Flame, one Water Leader's Helix. But not not much to target creatures, so surprised he didn't just use the essence scatter there on the uh, on the uh, invisible stalker. Essence scatter is kind of a funny card in a Cavern of Souls world. Yes, but the, the thing is, um, the, the only deck where it's really terrible against is Nia Humans. To be honest, there's not there's not that many decks that r run like four copies of Cavern of Souls. This is true. Even even um, even against a deck like uh, Reanimator. They might have one copy in their main, maybe two, maybe they'll board into another, but a scatter can still take it, take care of an important threat at some point. Absolutely. And it's very good against Jun. It's a very good card against Jun. Travis Bryant uh, casts two far seeks there, um, asks his opponent midway through them if he can just shortcut and do them both. Eric's absolutely fine with that, attacks with his invisible stalker on his turn, knocks a big chunk of Travis Bryant's life total away. We see a war leader's helix, which looks like it's going to be... Uh, the Thrag Tusk is a part of it too. So he's got nine life gain between those two cards. He's trying to keep himself from going down here to this Invisible Stalker. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be a struggle just because Jeez. Eric's going to have... Eric's hand is basically all creatures right now. He can play a Voice of Resurgence to chump lock the Thrag Tusk if he chooses. So it's going to be tough for Travis to try to win this race right here. Smiter, Smiter, Smiter? Is that what his hand is right now? Yeah. And uh, Travis Bryant. Wow. wow. Just drew Pretty a Pretty good draw. So he's got, he's got <laughs> Helix. Like we said, that, that life gain can be huge. So we, we could see a, uh, a, that Resto. <laughs> Suddenly I mean, things have just gotten really good for Travis. And he remembers not to pass the turn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't mess around. Voice of Resurgence makes things very difficult for me. So, main phase, gain another five life, and get a beast token in play. So now the life totals have just switched. Like, another, yeah. that's ten life that he has gained. Not so bad. So, suddenly, life totals are equal, but Travis has a lot more power in play, and a War Leader Skelix, which again, can swing things back in his favor. So Travis goes down to 10 from the Invisible Stalker hit. Eric has a couple of... Oh, so it looks like the... I'm sorry, the Voice of Resurgence also attacked and he's just getting chump blocked, getting blocked by the Beast token. So an Elemental will come into play now. That is a currently a 2-2. Eric has several copies of Locks on Smiters. So Locks on Smiters is going to come down. Maybe an Avison Pilgrim too, is that his name? No, Stranger Guys. Okay. So he has uh, still has a lot of power in play. Let's see what. I think Travis we're going to uh, see an attack, and in the combat, I expect that the Smiter will get blocked in the hopes of uh, eating that elemental as well, um, or just beforehand. Maybe he's just going to main phase. He doesn't Boom. want to block. Yeah. So I like that play. No you, tricks. You don't want him to block. Yeah. You don't want him to block. You want to gain four life and swing in here for a lot. Up he's to. Now he's got a chump block with the elemental if he wants to block it all. Up to 14, coming in here for 11 damage. Travis, remember, double mull this game. Double mull, but hey, Thrag Tusk Restoration Angel is effectively like <laughs> drawing an extra card, so. 
on Twitter, we got a little question from um, Adam Jansen's wife wondering how many rounds this is. If you're wondering as well, it's a 10 round tournament, yes. 450 players. Mrs. Jansen, Adam won't be home for a while. <laughs> So Eric takes the damage, drops to four. So let's see what kind of offensive he can mount this turn. Is he just going to attack with those people? Does he draw another enchantment? Strangle guys can come down. Geist. And a smiter. And he, smiter. Does he attack here? Yes. In they come. So he attacks for nine, dropping Travis to five. What a race. This has been an awesome yeah, game. awesome game. I mean, any spell that does damage will kill Eric Zimmerman now. Yeah, Eric only has two blockers. Travis can get three damage through. Can he get another? A Restoration Angel would be amazing here. Any Sphinx of Revelation would be amazing. A Selesnia Charm would do it, and he's got them in his deck. A Searing Spear, a <laughs> Pillar Searing of spear, Flame. Pillar. A lot of outs here. Basically just doesn't want to draw a land. And he attacks with just the angel. And uh, the spear! Wow. Double mull. Travis Bryant oh takes down goodness. Eric Zimmerman on the back of 14 life gain from Thrag Tusk, Restoration Angel, and then the War Leader's Helix. It's got to be the hat. Oh. Can we get a judge to check whether or not he's got serious spears <laughs> underneath that brim of the hat? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, nope. So, yep. Uh, Travis Bryant off of Mulligan managed to beat. Eric Zimmerman on the back of Restoration Angel Thragtusk. Really nice. It's funny, we've been talking about it all around, it seems like, but that life swing. Yeah. You know, in these matchups, that one turn where you gain that life, it all that matters. Absolutely. And like, 